want to introduce some little friends, animal friends, that you might find familiar. Okay, the first animal, can anybody recognize this? Okay, tell your mommy and daddy. What animal is this? Can you type it in the comments? You recognize this animal? Now this animal can be really tall and, and fuzzy and he has sharp claws as well as sharp teeth. What animal is this? I'll reveal the answer. It is a grizzly bear. Okay, so let's remember okay, the parts of the grizzly bear that I just shared. Okay, the second animal. What animal is this? Now, this animal, you might have, you might have, maybe when you're on holiday, you might have seen this animal before. You can tell your mommy or daddy what animal this is. You can recognize it. So this animal is an African buffalo. So an African buffalo is unique because he has a black tongue. So some animals have tongues that are black, like uh, giraffes have black tongues. Also certain dogs have black tongues, like a chow chow, and their tongues are black because of the pigmentation that's on it and it helps their tongue from getting sunburned. So an African buffalo has a black tongue. And finally, my final animal friend. Have you seen this animal before? Now, this animal is really unique because does anybody think he looks like maybe a, a pig, a, a hog, or a wild boar? That's very close. Now, this animal is a warthog. A warthog has these very distinct tusks. So that's like huge, sharp teeth that come out of his mouth. So a warthog has tusks. These are tusks. And he has warts on his face. So the warts are like big lumps of flesh that's on its face. So that's what's really unique about a warthog. So a warthog gets its name from its warts. So again, so we, if we look at all the animals and the different parts, warthogs have warts and tusks. The African buffalo has a black tongue. And the grizzly bear has sharp claws as well as sharp teeth. Ooh. Sharp claw, sharp teeth, and it's usually really tall with really brown, thick, dense fur. So, we're going to use those animal parts in this story, okay? So this story is called The Gruffalo. Have any of you heard of this story or read this story before? If you have, ask your mommy today to tap on the bottom right hand corner, like, like hearts or waves so that I know that you read this story before. It's a really famous story, and I'm going to be sharing it. And I love it because it's in rhyme. The Gruffalo by Julia Donaldson and Axel Schiffer. Through the deep dark wood, a fox saw the mouse, and the mouse looked good. Where are you going, little mouse? Come and have lunch in my underground house. It's terribly kind of you, fox, but no, I'm having lunch with the gruffalo. A gruffalo? What's a gruffalo? <gasps> a gruffalo! Don't you know? He has terrible tusks and terrible claws and terrible. 
terrible teeth and his terrible jaws. <gasps> Where are you going to meet him? Why, here, by these rocks. And his favorite meal is roasted fox. <gasps> roasted fox! I'm off, Fox said. Goodbye, little mouse. And off he sped. Silly old fox. Doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a gruffalo. <sighs> On went the mouse through the deep dark wood. An owl saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Where are you going, Tuhu, little brown mouse? Come and have tea in my tree top house. It's frightfully nice of you, Owl, but no, I am having tea with a Gruffalo. A Gruffalo? What's a Gruffalo? A Gruffalo! Don't you know? He has knobbly knees and turned out toes, and he has a poisonous wart end of his nose. Where are you meeting him? Why? Here by this stream. And his favorite dessert is owl ice cream. Owl ice cream? To it? To who? Goodbye little mouse. And away owl flew. Silly old owl, doesn't he know? There's no such thing as Gruffalo. On went the mouse through the deep dark wood. A snake saw the mouse, and the mouse looked good. Where are you going, little brown mouse? Come for a feast in my log pal house. It's wonderfully good of you, Snake, but no, I'm having a feast with a Gruffalo. A Gruffalo? What's a Gruffalo? Why, a Gruffalo, don't you know? His eyes are orange, his tongue is black. He has purple prickles all over his back. Where are you meeting him? Why here, by this lake. And his favorite feast is scrambled snake. <gasps> scrambled snake, it's time I hid. Goodbye, little mouse, and away snake slid. Silly old snake, doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a gruffa. Oh, but who, who is this creature with, with terrible claws and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws? He has lonely knees and turned out toes, and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. His eyes are orange, his tongue is black, he has purple prickles all down his back. Oh help, oh, oh no, it's, it's a Gruffalo. My favorite food, the Gruffalo said, You'll taste good on a slice of bread. G good? Don't, don't call me good. I'm the scariest creature in this wood. Just walk behind me and soon you'll see. Everyone is afraid of me. All right, said the Gruffalo, bursting out with laughter. You go ahead and I'll follow after. They walked and they walked 
till the Gruffalo said, I hear a hiss in the leaves ahead. It's Snake, said the mouse. Why, Snake? Hello. Snake took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh, Rums, he said. Goodbye, little mouse. And off he sled to his log pile house. You see? I told you so. Amazing, said the Gruffalo. They walked some more till the Gruffalo said, I hear a hoot in the trees ahead. It's Owl. Hey, Owl. Hello. Owl took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh dear, good, good, goodbye, little mouse. And off he flew to his treetop house. You see, I told you so. Astounding, said the Gruffalo. They walked and they walked some more till the Gruffalo said, I can hear feet on the path ahead. It's Fox. Hey, Fox. Hello. Fox took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh, oh, help! Goodbye, little mouse! And off he leapt to his underground house. Well, Gruffalo, you see? Everyone is afraid of me. But now my tummy is beginning to rumble. And my favorite food is Gruffalo Crumble. Gr Gruffalo crumbled, the, the Gruffalo said, and quick as the wind, he turned and fled. All was quiet in the deep, dark wood. The mouse found a nut, and the nut was good. And Thank you for listening, everybody. Good listening. Ears, everyone, you gotta give ourselves again a round of applause for yourself for listening so well. Okay, we give ourselves a loop round of applause again. Good job, everybody. It is really easy. I'm using a fudge brownie premix, which requires oil, water, an egg, a baking tray, and I'm adding these white chocolate droplets as claws and a clear drop butter. the brownies out of the oven and I'm now going to cut these teardrop sheets out of the brownie so that they can look like paws. Final step to making these teardrop brownies into paws and not just teardrops is to slice, cut, cut a little few, a few notches at the bottom and put these white chocolate droplets into its Poor brownies! These are really fun to make, especially after you have read a book about animals and claws and paws. They smell really good, so I can't wait to start chomping on these. No, 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 no.